Hi, this is Brandon Smilly from ThirstGym.com. Today we're going to talk about an exercise called the seated cable row. This is a great upper back horizontal pulling exercise. I really love rows. I think they do a lot in terms of building a good stable shoulder and upper back mass. And most people just need the reinforcement for good posture to be pulled back um, through, their, through their upper back. This particular seated cable row option we have is performed on the floor. Where you're at, we have access to you. Might be able to sit actually on a particular bench or so to speak and um, kind of build that into your training program so you don't have to get on the floor. Uh, this is just what we kind of have access to. And we don't use this exercise a ton um, because of the ability to, have to sit up and down off the ground, but we do use it a lot and it's got some really nice good applications. So you obviously need some kind of cable machine like this where you have access to and some kind of attachment. I'm merely just going to talk about the exercise as a whole. We have probably over a dozen different attachments, so I'm not going to talk about each one for this particular exercise. But what I am going to talk about are the general mechanics of what you want to see from the exercise. So I've got a mag grip on here. Um, I per this is my personally my favorite grip attachment, so it's what I chose to use. Um, I also like that it's a neutral grip, so it's a little bit more shoulder friendly, and we kind of we kind of get some good shoulder health out of that as well. What we're going to do is we're going to take both of our feet, we're going to press them into this foot plate here. Uh, depending on what you have access to, that might change a little bit for you what you can push your feet on, but you're going to have some kind of foot plate. And then we want our knees relatively bent, so to speak. We don't want them locked out like this. I can't hardly even reach that anyways. But we want our legs, knees bent, and we want to pretend almost kind of like we're doing a hinge on the, uh, on the ground. Got the cable attachment. I'm going to lean back just a little bit so it breaks off the machine. So I got that tension on here. I'm going to keep my chest tall, okay? We don't want to be rounded forward like this. I want to be chest tall. And I want to do take my elbows pull back, touch my belly button back. So pull. I really personally just try to let my scapulas come around to increase my time under tension and get more from the exercise with maybe less weight. But what you don't want to do when you pull is necessarily pull up towards your face. I don't even know if I can do it with this, but you don't want to be here like this where I'm getting the good bicep workout, but I'm not really getting a whole lot from my back. Chest tall, keep those elbows pulled down, and then pull towards your belly button here. Depending upon what attachments you have, it's going to dictate how you feel the exercise. So keep that in mind. When we program the seated cable row, we program them as an accessory based work and exercise. We're not going heavy on these, so we're thinking sets of 8, 10, 12. Sometimes even 15 for some of our athletes that we just need to put a lot of meat on them and, and, and try to crank the hypertrophy, so to speak, and put some volume on them. Um, so three, four, five, maybe even six sets, depending upon how they are in your training program. We, we personally choose a lot of different row variations and options. When it comes to the rows, there are variations that are a little bit better in terms of what they might do for your athlete, whether you need them to move in space or not. So keep that in mind as well. For our, our athletes, they just need to add general size. Some of our football players, wrestlers, um, you know, throwers, things like that. This is more about putting mass and size on and trying to keep balance. So I'm okay with a seated cable row, where there's some athletes where I would much rather them stick with um, you know, inverted rows or sled drag rows or something that's a little bit more quote unquote athletic, so to speak. So there's really no bad way to look at it. Just kind of think about why it's in your training program and how you're going to use it with your athletes and your clients. For us, personal training client wise, it's upper back work. I don't really care so much um, as long as they're getting that horizontal rowing and it, and it fits in the program a little bit better. So again, that's the seated cable row. Really simple exercise, just trying to give you some ideas and things you can think about when it comes to programming it and why you might choose it um, over something or not. So, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Thanks, have a great day.